Alright, hey guys, how you doing? Me, Tom here. How you doing, peoples? We got the Swept Wing F-14 Blitzwerk RC Banana Hobby Nightmare Plane. Well, sort of. I uh, had a lot of modification and a lot of uh, reworks I had to do. How you doing, guys? Anyways, I'm going to try and do a, a brief overview of what I had to do to this plane to get it flight-worthy and airworthy. Um, first of all, I want to thank Tinkerman Tim RC, Tinkerman RC, with all of his help and um, all of his mods that he did, which I had to do all of them myself, if not more. So, um, starting off from the beginning, um, the ESCs and the motors went in good. I did upgrade to Hopman Magnetics, three to four cell um, brushless outrunners. Hopefully, it'll work because apparently Hopman has gone out of business. But, um, probably won't be buying any more of those. But, um, anyway, starting from the beginning, I'm going to be putting the camera down from time to time here to show you what I had to do to get this thing uh, airworthy. Well, on the top, first of all, as Tim said, I had to route out right here this little area so that this sets in here. I had to channel this out right here to set my air lines in there and my wires for my ailerons which I had to run everything needed modification pretty much this is the third retract servo so I don't know if I'm going to be uh, retracting the wings today I'll show you in a minute that they re do retract and, and uh, extend fully and, but I'm just not too sure about that inside there I did add the piece of wood like Tim talked about right there there's my battery tray I'm going to be running a 4 cell 3000 20C battery in there today and I did the watt check right there 4 cell 20C I got 103 amps 1410 watts should be enough to fly this plane the kit did come with this fill valve right here it's a one way valve I'm going to show you in a minute that I um, just plug in here goes my air compressor right here just, just like a bicycle tube right there I did have leaks in the tank right there the tank leaked all these little fittings kind of leaked too I had to reinsert those or cut them off and redo them there goes my um, air retract servo there goes my air retract valve um, there's a little pad of wood under here that holds the, uh, the retract wheels in under here and uh, you had to modify and cut the foam to fit the piece of wood in there because nothing fit again alright so what else up top here anything okay I'll show you in a few minutes too that I got how I got the um, the control services set up alright so let me flip over the plane right now I'll put the camera down alright I'm back alright so anyway here I did cut out my cheater holes like Tim said there they are okay so also these retracts here I had to do everything that Tim said I did um keep my spring loaded wheel trips on here um, what I had to do here is I drilled a hole through the plastic and through the steel to hold this piece of plastic on and I tie wired it I put a piece of wire through there and I tied that on there so that shouldn't be going anywhere we'll see have not flown the airplane yet so these um, these retract air servos have to be shimmed in here because if you stick them in there, they don't fit in flush and they'll bow and they won't go down retract smoothly. Also had to cut out the foam right here because they did not fit down here right. You know, I did not install the bombs either. I'm going to fly this thing without bombs. Anyways, up front, we got the um, the wire here. The steering servo pretty much straightforward here well if it wasn't for Tim Tinkerman RC I didn't know that you just barely set in your set screw down here you barely put it in it and that's the only thing holding this thing and it allows it to pivot this piece of rod here once again on every uh, wheel here I uh, drilled the hole through the steel and put the tie wire on there Alright, so this piece of tape here, you see that? It has a function. When the wheels go down, these wires were getting wrapped up around these wheels and not allowing it to come back down. That would be a problem. Your wheels don't come down and fly, right? Anyways, 
I put a piece of tape on there and it worked just fine. There goes my uh, wing uh, aileron servos. They all went in fine. There goes my epoxied in elevon. So I think I'm about ready to uh, plug it in. I don't uh, remember if I uh, needed to mention anything else. So let me turn it over and plug it in. Show you uh, singing the. Uh, F-14 theme from uh, Top Gun right now, guys. Or should we wait till later? Anyways, all right, let me put air in the tank. I'm just going to uh, set the camera down for a minute. And uh, maybe my buddy Tom here could uh, hold the camera just right there on that air valve. You see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm telling you. What I'm doing. So basically, it's like a tire. Put the air on there. Check my... Uh, Take my valve, put it in a down position, put an air right here, take it up to about, uh, I don't know, whatever it says, it says 120, it may be too much, going to blow a line or something, but uh, that's about it, then you just pop this off, boom, and you got air in your lines, so uh, let's do a retract function check right here. Uh, here goes my nose wheel steering, as you can see. Let's try to retrick. Boom! Up they go. See that? Boom! Down they go. Up. Well, they sort of look like they set up in there just right. Looks okay to me. Won't be using the rudder in the flight. We don't have rudders on this aircraft. Once again, there they go down. There they go up. Down. I'm gonna recharge it again before the flight, so just a little demo here. So uh here goes my retrack servo. Only thing I have a question about guys, look. You can see this. Uh, when I retract, they retract fine. Now if I wait a couple seconds, the servo start to hum and when I put them back out, it's labored. But, if I do it quick, boom, boom, in and out, real easy like that. So, what do you think of that? All right, Mr. Tom here uh, has looks a theory. Like the, the retract servo is stalled in the swept back position, and the servo gets hot. So, when you bring it back open, the servo's overheated. Okay. And I think that's what's causing your problem. It's stalled. It's not fully rotated. All right. See, that's only, that's not quite. Hard. So, do you think travel limit? Yeah, you need to limit the travel in that position. Okay. Because the servo's sitting there stalled and it's heating up. All right. So, okay, so check this out, guys. On to another issue. I'm going to try that. I'm going to adjust my travel limits there. When I'm done, I'm um, showing you here. I only got about a minute left here on this uh, video. So here goes my normal flight position. I have ailerons left and right, no tail -arons. Right? So if I flip my switch on, now they get full function like tail on my ailerons also. Right? So now if I put the wings in the back position, if I don't flip the switch, I don't have tail arounds in the back. I flip the switch. Now I have full tail arounds in the back. And if I put the wings back out, flip my switches back, I just have elevator and aileron. Now when I flip my uh, retract back, you can also see this wing right here, right? It comes up a little bit. That's from the guy on uh, another guy on YouTube who showed me that. All right, so like five degrees, this is going to come up with the wings retracted. All right, so that's about it right now. I'm running out of time. I just have ten minutes on my um video camera here. Uh, so I'm going to do a taxi check now.